Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Swan Sky Eye radio controlled military helicopter with video. So this radio controlled helicopter from Swan sells for $99.99 and it is an intermediate level helicopter meaning you'll need some skill level some familiarity with radio controlled helicopters in order to fly it properly and that's because of all the controls built in. It also does have the ability to shoot still images and record video in low quality while it's flying. So let's take a close look Look at the Swan Sky Eye right now. So inside the packaging, you'll obviously get the helicopter itself, the controller, an instruction manual, recharging cable, and USB cable to transfer the contents that you get from shooting uh, video and still images to your PC. This uh, helicopter does not work with Mac. It's only meant to work with PC. There are a couple other extra goodies included in the pouch that comes with the camera. These include a helicopter landing pad, an extra uh, or two of the rotor blades, and a screwdriver for installing installing the batteries in the controller. The camera itself built into the helicopter again shoots low quality or low resolution video and still images. So in order to use the helicopter, you'll first need to charge it up. That takes about 60 to 70 minutes. In the instruction manual, it states that the AC adapter will actually glow red while charging and then turn green when fully charged and Swan even warns about overcharging and how it can be detrimental to the helicopter and fortunately in my particular helicopter there was no LED at all so I had no idea when the helicopter was fully charged or not I had to rely on my own time management to unplug it after 60 minutes. The other downside is after a full hour charge, you only get six minutes of flying time, which seems incredibly low. I realize this is pretty common with radio controlled helicopters, but still seemed rather low to me. You'll need to supply your own AA batteries for the back of the controller. It takes six and then pair up the controller with the helicopter in order to get it to fly. The somewhat intricate controller that comes with the Swan Sky Eye makes flying this a little bit of a challenge. There are two uh, controller sticks, one on the left, the one, and one on the right. The left being the throttle and the right being the directional or rudder. You push up to make the helicopter raise on the left stick or left throttle and then move the right rudder left or right or forward and backwards to make it go either forward or back or left or right. The Swan Sky Eye is limited to indoor use but does have a height range of up to 100 feet which is pretty impressive. I did find flying it a big challenge using the controllers and getting everything right takes practice. While flying it, you can capture, again, still images and video using two buttons on the controller. Uh, there is a button for camera and a button for video. Once you're finished flying, you'll want to transfer that information to your computer. However, I was unable to do so. First of all, the Swan Sky Eye is not Mac compatible, so I could not get it to show up on my Mac. When I tried with a PC, I could not get the drive to amount to mount either, which was very frustrating. So while I had a fun time flying the Swan Sky Eye, I was not able to transfer the images and video that I captured during my flight tests to my computer for viewing. So that's been my brief look at the Swan Sky Eye. Again, it sells for 99 bucks and I did have a fun time flying it, but again, not sure if I could recommend it if you are going after this device based on its ability to record still images and video since I was not able to get them to transfer to my computer. Still, it's a fun intermediate level radio controlled helicopter that I'm sure you'll have a good time playing with limited to indoor use um, if you have any questions about the product you should drop me a line down below you can also hit the annotation link to read my full review of this over on runaround tech the link to where you can learn more about it from the swan site will be in the video description otherwise have a great day